Baby I'm dressing. Baby I'm dressing. Woo Baby I'm Okay. What's up beauties? Welcome back to a new video right here on my channel. If you're new here, I am Sonya and you turned into my very first pack with me video and how I typically style my day-to-day -day outfits. Let me sit down and talk to y'all real quick, okay? All right, y'all. I need to sit down with y'all first because your girl is not feeling her best, but I still wanted to show up for this video because I'm actually really excited about my trip that I'm going on. If y'all watched my last vlog, y'all would know I am going to Nashville, Tennessee for a national conference with my job. There's about 10 to 12 of my colleagues and I who are coming from Virginia. Um, and of course the conference is national, so that means that people all over the country are coming to this conference that's being hosted in Tennessee this year. It's for um, like an urban leadership cohort of our company our organization that we work with so I wanted to do a pack with me video because I've never done one before like I said before and then I can kind of show y'all like my kind of run through when I am picking out outfits and this is the same thing I do when I'm picking out outfits for a video for Instagram or just you know if I'm going somewhere so I wanted to show y'all that but mother nature said that she wanted to come to Tennessee too why is it that when you're going out of town on a trip you're really excited about, she always want to come. She She's coming on the plane too. So, <laughs> but anyways y'all, I wanted this to be a more relaxed video, um, vlog style. So this will be kind of like prepping for Tennessee and then I am gonna vlog in Tennessee so you guys should get that video as well. We'll get started with packing because I kind of already have most of my outfits in mind. I just need to put them on to like confirm that this is what I want to wear. Baby I'm dressing. Baby I'm dressing. Woo. Baby I'm. Okay. This one my stomach hurt. Right here. <laughs> Alright I got y'all on a tripod and I am trying to figure out how I want to showcase this for y'all because I want to be I'm usually in this mirror over here when I am trying stuff on so I think if I can like make it so that y'all can see me in the mirror and then I can see myself can y'all see me yeah I think that'll work so you know what I'm saying you last what you got okay okay so for my airport outfit Y'all have seen these pants before and before. <laughs> We're wearing them again. So, I have learned that when I am traveling, I either need a... Is it going backwards? No. I either need a cute legging or a nice, comfortable, wide leg trouser. Um, I talked to my style coaching clients about their personal uniform and I'm learning at 34 like this is the most like casual you're gonna get me like y'all even know my sweatpants are like wild leg sweats so I think I'm gonna wear this to the airport and I'll probably wear probably put on these slides that I got from Target they're like an elevated version of a Birkenstock, but they're easy to like slide on and slide off for TSA. I always put a pair of socks in my handbag uh, for TSA if I'm wearing slides like this. And then my little tote bag like this. And then this is probably going to be my airport outfit. Because we're going to a professional conference, um, you know, I like a little crop top. But once I land to the uh, airport and get to the hotel, I can pull this shirt down so it looks more, you know, professional. And that'll be like my airport outfit. I'll probably either just put on some hoops 
and I know I'm gonna have my sunglasses on and so this is probably what I'll wear to the airport usually what I would do if I was like doing a YouTube video is I would just take a picture of myself in this so that I know what I'm supposed to be putting on so this is my airport outfit now I'm trying to get everything in one suitcase for this trip in my big suitcase so what I wanted to do is like touch down and just be able to like change out my top to a blouse um, because we have a banquet like I think I touched down in Tennessee at like three a three something I'll probably be at my hotel by four to check in and I think we have a banquet at like six so I was like oh I could put on like a little off the shoulder top and maybe a kitten heel to kind of bring um you know just a more dressy look to these pants so that I am you know being able to really style something more than once I came up with that idea before I realized my period was coming on so now that I know my period is coming on, I'm going to bring a spare pair of pants just in case something happens and I need to change my pants. And plus, you know, when you're flying, like you're sweating, you're going to the bathroom, whatever. So I would rather like be able to throw these on uh, for the airport when I'm coming back again than try to make it a banquet outfit. You know what I'm saying? If I have a little accident or something, you know. We're just gonna bring a spare pair of pants. So let's get into the banquet outfit. This is gonna kind of be like the first night everybody is getting into town. I think they're gonna be doing like an awards dinner. So it's really business cash. Like when I say banquet, don't think like black tie or like ball gown. Think like business casual, a little dinner with your colleagues. Okay, so let's get into that look that I think I'm gonna wear. Okay. Don't mind the bra straps. I was not putting on a strapless bra for this. But we're going to pull this down. Because I feel like this will be a good kind of like first impressions outfit. Something slight before we bring out the heavy hitters. You know what I'm saying? For the week. Um, but just this. And then these pair of trousers that I got from Eloquy. If you watched my... 15 spring looks featuring trousers video you would have seen these i put it on with a lavender top um in that video and i was just gonna re-wear that outfit but i as y'all know have been loving the kitten heel and i put a little addition on my kitten heels y'all see that so if you are og following me on ig okay you recognize these chains from my pink Barbie doll Crocs that I decorated. I'll see if I can pull that up from IG and insert it in this video. But the, this is a Croc charm. So you can put chains on your Crocs and kind of wear them across the little flap that will usually go behind your foot. So instead of putting the Croc in sport mode, you just kind of wear them in regular mode and then decorate them with this chain. I put these on my kitten heels the other day when I was doing a reel for Instagram and I was like, oh, this is cute. So I think because in these, um, these pants, you can kind of see like a lot of my foot, like they don't cover up my entire foot that I wanted to wear these instead of doing the lavender top with the silver kitten heel so that I could wear the little strap so let's try it on and see how she looks can you even see it dang i don't know if y'all can see i don't even know if y'all can see it on camera huh i might have to take y'all off camera let me see if i can i'll video it on my phone and then insert it so this is essentially what it would look like with the little gold thing around it which I think is cute because when I'm walking you'll be able to see that and then I wanted to wear this bag with it and then I would just spruce it up with some like really nice gold earrings 
but I think that's cute. Like, even though like standing, yeah, standing, you'll still be able to see it. And I know walking, you'll be able to see it. So I think this is going to be like my first like, oh, intro. Um, Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Sonia, blah, blah, blah type outfit for dinner. So yeah, you should have been seeing the footage that I did from my phone. I like it. I think it's cute. The kitten heel is, of course, comfortable. Um, you know, just for like a, a initial first night dinner. I also know like, I know the type of organization that I work with. So like, this could very well be overdressed. <laughs> but you know, I like to look how I like to look. Like I wanna look cute. Um, so yeah, for the banquet, I think that that would be perfect. Now, we're gonna get into day two. Day two, I am pulling out this gorgeous set that I just got from Old Navy. If y'all are still sleeping on the Navy of Old, stop it. Wake up in the spirit, okay? Let Jesus breathe on your dry bones and guide you to the Old Navy because Old Navy is gonna faithfully pull out a good two-piece set for the fall, winter, spring, and summer. They gonna pull out a cute short set. They're gonna pull out a cute skirt set. Y'all know that like plaid skirt set that y'all was like dying over when I did my New York Fashion Week outfits video. That's from Old Navy. So this next set that I got, I bought this specifically for this conference because it gives like 90s business professional and I love it. Okay, so let me show y'all. So it is this linen blend pinstripe dress with the matching blazer. Now, before y'all say she looks plain, let your girl show it to you when I put it on. The thing about it is like cream. Y'all know I love me a good cream. As much as I love color, I love a good balance of neutrals as well. And this has the slightest little, like, it's not even black. Is it black? Like, yeah, black pinstripe in it. It kind of shows up uh, gray. But it looks so good on, especially with my little bob. I actually uh, filmed an Instagram reel in this outfit. So I'm not going to worry about trying it on for y'all because I'm just going to show you the reel so you can see it on. But this is going to be like the first official full day of the conference. I'm going to have this on. Um, I'll have my kitten heels with me if I want to wear that. But I also have these really cute slides from Target. I got all the slides this year, baby. But these really cute slides from Target, just in case I don't want to be um, in my kitten heel all day. And on the reel that I'm about to show y'all, instead of doing the little gold chain from my croc on the kitten heel, I just tied a little white string around my ankle to give it like a strap up pump look. Be versatile with your clothes, okay? Don't go out and buy something new. Do some arts and crafts, baby, DIY. Okay, I literally found that string in my closet somewhere. I cut it in half so it could be one for one foot and one for the other and connected it to the sling back on my shoe and tied it around my ankle. Okay, but just in case I, you know, don't want to wear those, I will have these flats. Target has some really cute flats this uh, summer, so I will definitely link this stuff below. So let me show you all that reel so you can get a gist of the outfit. I'm going to wear it exactly like that so it'll be what it is welcome back to my mini series of looking expensive on a budget we are on outfit number three every year i tell y'all to stop sleeping on old navy every year i tell y'all to pull up to the navy of old baby one thing old navy gonna do is she gonna give you a two-piece set for the season yeah this little linen blend dress and blazer look is from old navy okay got the clicking clackers back on Got on a little chain necklace. Got the little bobby on a bobbing. Baby, enough said. Enough said. Okay. Isn't that cute? I'm excited to wear that. Um, so the last outfit I think I'm gonna like need for like the conference is on Thursday. We will be doing like workshops, half the day, lunch, and then we're actually going on a Tennessee music tour um 
we're gonna do a country music tour and then the African American music tour. Um, so this is a day where I know especially I'm probably gonna need two outfits because I think we're probably gonna I don't know I have never been on that tour if y'all know comment below I think we're gonna be doing a bit of walking so I might change from my workshop outfit to a more comfortable outfit so that I can walk around I have no idea what that comfortable outfit is going to be so yeah oh and then I didn't even tell you Wednesday night so after I have on that old, old navy two-piece set I might need another outfit too because Wednesday night we're going to a steakhouse for dinner just the people who are coming from Virginia and I don't know if I want to be in that suit all day so I might bring a spare outfit for that do I need spare outfits yes 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 I do okay <laughs> all right so for Thursday's outfit this is the one where like I'm still kind of putting it together in my head so if you didn't see my Instagram reel about the Janae Naylor Target collection, I did pick up a few pieces from her collection. One of them being this very beautiful cream vest. As y'all can see, I'm really into the creams right now, okay? So I want to pair this with either a colorful bottom. I have these fuchsia colored shorts that are like a more longer short. So they would be professional if I wanted to wear them to the conference. Or I have that green skirt that I pulled out of my closet. Or I have this other green skirt that I could wear. But I need to try it on to see like what's the vibe giving. So let's put that outfit together. I'm going to put this on. And then we'll figure out the bottoms that I want to end up wearing. I'm looking at this already and I can tell I don't like it. <laughs> I feel like the skirt is a little too short to be walking around in all day. Now I have worn this to my office. You know, when I, when you in your own office, you can get away with some things. <laughs> but I feel like if I wanted to so happen to wear this to the tour, like we're gonna be walking around, probably climbing on and off a charter bus or something. And I don't feel like tugging at this skirt the whole time or being self-conscious about it and then plus the little I don't know if y'all can see it has a little split in the front right here and I just think that's kind of clashing with the top I am so hot and I'm so bloated y'all like y'all better just know I love y'all because I guess you don't film when it's that time of the month because I don't like nothing at least you can see like this is how the top fits on me I love absolutely love this top but I don't like it with this skirt I also had the idea to put it on with a pair of pants but I feel like I'm wearing pants the whole time you know the only dress that I'm bringing is the two-piece set from Old Navy so I wanted to kind of pair this with a skirt or the shorts so let's put the shorts on real quick so I can show y'all what they look like they are the they are these like linen blend fuchsia shorts from Ashley Stewart and they're a little longer so they're not like inappropriate in my opinion. I feel like I might get away with these. Let's see. I did a reel in these too. And um, I already know this looks really good together. Okay, and you can already kind of see like where they're hitting at at the back. They're not short. So. And they have a string on them but they don't look right with this vest so i'm just gonna tuck them in my little shorts i have on up under here i feel like i look so crazy on camera i'm so used to like doing try on hauls when i'm like dolled up but it's okay this is reality yeah see like these are cute to me and they're not super short they're not super tight they're wrinkled <laughs> right now but i feel like they could be appropriate you know which y'all think and i'm like gonna make this coach bag my main bag for the week um so all of my outfits need to be able to go with this and this does and i feel like 
I could either do the kitten heel like I did with my real um or I could do the slide but like I feel like this is cute Welcome back to my mini series of looking expensive on a budget. We have outfit number two back in that Janae Naylor top from Target. But these shorts are from Ashley Stewart. And you know, sometimes when you put a plus size woman in a cargo short, she can look like she's going to Christian summer camp. But this is giving I done snuck into the nearest country club so I could have some lunch with a man who laughed like this uh, 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 and watch him hit some teas while I sip my tea. And all the Karens were cringe, okay? <laughs> what y'all think and then think about like going on the music tour after that like i'll have on something comfortable and we'll be outside it's gonna be hot you know what i'm saying so if i do have my kitten heels on i'll have enough time to run up to my room and switch to my slides um i put my slides on and just head out I like this. I'm leaning more towards this than anything else. I did want to try on this one pair of pants though that I was thinking that would look good with this too. I might just kind of bring them as a backup, especially if I want to change for that other dinner. I would probably put these pants on with just like a basic top. It's another pair of wide leg trousers from Rub Dolls but in this chartreuse color. Hmm. How do we feel about this? I don't know. I don't know if I like it with the vest. Like, it looks fine, and I'm pretty sure it'll look good with my kitten heel, but I feel like for this one, I would want this vest to be a little bit more fitted like that. I hope y'all can see me. I hope I'm not, like, out of focus, out of frame this whole time. But, um, yeah. I don't know if I will wear the pants with this. Also... I'm not dolled up at all, so I, I might just need to, you know, do something with myself. It doesn't look bad, but I don't like it more than the shorts. But I think I will bring this extra pair of pants because, again, I might want to get out of that dress and suit jacket for the Wednesday night dinner. And if that's the case, I could probably, oh, this is cute. <laughs> like, if I wasn't going to something professional, this little moment right here is cute. Would it open like that? <laughs> um, but I was saying if I want to change for the Wednesday night dinner, then I could probably put it back on that off the shoulder top with these pants. Or I could wear these pants to the uh what I was calling it? The banquet. Either way, I think it's a good like alternative just to bring. There's some cool flowy pants. I can either put this on with my little t-shirt, a white tee, or the off-the-shoulder top, whatever. As y'all can see, I'm trying to keep it basic, but still elevated. Like, I, I want it to be something simple, but I want to look like I put a lot of effort into it. And I know I'm not showing y'all, like, accessories outside of the shoes and the bag um, in this video, but I do plan to spruce it up with jewelry and just kind of like bring everything together cohesively but i think i am going to bring this pair of pants as a spare just in case i want to you know change something up or if i have a little accident because again i'll be on my period so okay so now that we got our outfits pretty much kind of like summed up let's pick out accessories i want to show y'all the items that i'm thinking of bringing um I should have put it on while I was trying on all these clothes. I honestly just forgot. So I'll just sit down and show y'all the jewelry that I am probably going to bring. So I think for my first airport outfit, I'm either going to put on my hoops. Um, 
I've had these hoops for so long. I got them from my local beauty supply store, okay? And they just been riding with me this long. But I think I might either put on like some casual hoops because this hair is actually pretty big or I might just do the old faithful Amazon Bottega drop earrings to kind of like classy it up a little bit. Yeah, that's cute. So either way, I might do that for the airport outfit. Then we have the banquet outfit and I'll be having on that off the shoulder top. So I might do this little like choker type necklace from Ashley Stewart. I'll put it on so y'all can see. I think it's really cute with this shorter hair. Ugh. Except your hair get caught in it, child. Is the hair in it? But anyway, it just looks like this. And I think that would be really cute with the off the shoulder top. And then the Amazon earrings. It's giving old money. You know what I'm saying? I think that'll be cute. So I'm going to bring that. Then we have the uh, Old Navy skirt set. I saw how it was in the reel. I'm going to wear it exactly like that. But the necklace that I have on is actually my purse strap that I got from Amazon. I'm going to try to link the stuff that's still available for y'all to shop in the description box below. Or it actually might be tagged on the video. So once I take this off of my bag... I can just wear it as a necklace and I often do so I'm gonna take that it'll dupe as a purse strap and a necklace for this trip I told y'all be efficient okay and then because that purse strap is so short I'm actually gonna bring this purse strap if I do need to do a crossbody situation like when we go on the tour I'm pretty sure I'm gonna want to make my bag a crossbody. And so I will use this. Um, and my bag does come with a long cream strap, but this just kind of elevates it, as you can see. And then you just put it over you and you have a little crossbody. Y'all should have seen me use this little strap as a belt before as well. So, you know, multi-purpose. My accessories need to be multi-purpose, okay? So bringing those. Um, then for the white top with the fuchsia shorts, I have a couple options with that because I could go with the, I forgot I have a hoop on right now, but I could go with these that would kind of make the look a little bit more fun and tropical. Um... I mean, I could stick to just like gold accessories with that. Um, I'm trying to find my other ones. Now, I did in a different video that just never got put up. I had on like a white top with fuchsia bottoms and then these earrings from Ashley Stewart. Because this color with fuchsia just really pops. Which would be pretty, but if I wear this, I would have to change my bag to the bag that matches these earrings. And again, I'm trying to bring my carry-on bag for the airport and then just that coach bag to kind of keep everything in one suitcase. So, I don't, I don't really know. I don't really know if I'll do that, actually. Um, but I'm trying to find this one other pair. Are they in here? They're in here. So these floral earrings are from Ashley Stewart as well. Can y'all see them? And these might be cute because they have the fuchsia in them to kind of wear with that look too. Now in my Instagram reel, I just went classic gold. I'm leaning towards classic gold, but I think I'll bring the floor ones. Oh, I forgot I have my little eyeball earrings too. The ones I showed y'all in my accessories haul. These might be cute too. Just they're gold, but just something a little different than your, 
child. Then your basic gold. So I might bring these as well. Um, I told y'all a couple of times that I ended up returning that eyeball clutch that I had bought to go with those earrings. Because, baby, I just don't need no confusion about who I serve. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though I know the Holy Spirit created the eyeball, I know what he created the eyeballs for, you know? <laughs> but I don't want to be a stumbling block for anybody's walk. And I also don't want to cause confusion because, because when people see an evil eye clutch or whatever, they're going to assume that it's an evil eye. Um, and it was marketed on Amazon as an evil eye clutch. It's all right, baby. You know what I'm saying? I was like, let me just return it because I don't want to be your stumbling block. It's not affecting me because I know where I stand. But I don't want it to affect you. Especially when you're trying to figure out where you stand. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be an example of Christ. And I don't want to confuse you, baby. So I just returned it. But I kept these earrings because they're not advertised as evil anything. They're just little eyeball earrings. So I'll probably bring these. But then I just remember I also have these little pearls that might go cute with the white top and fuchsia shorts as well. So I might bring these two. I'm going to bring my uh, ring from Torrid. It's one of my favorite rings. I'm gonna bring just some gold bangles. I think I got these from Shein or something a long time ago. Um, and then I'll probably bring my rings from Her Golden Empire. So as y'all should have seen, this one in my latest accessories haul. And then the one that I have been literally wearing every single day, which is this one that y'all love. So I'll probably bring that. And then I might also bring these white stackable rings that I got from Tori too. I usually wear these two rings when I'm wearing like a cream little fit. Then look, then this is what be making my suitcase full. I be adding stuff on like, oh, I might want to wear this. I might want to wear that. Baby, stick to the plan. Okay. I also might bring these little hoops. These are old. You can see it's missing like a pearl right here. But I usually can like finagle and hide that. But I love these little heart hoops. Might bring them too. You know what I'm saying? Just to have options. You gotta have options. Oh, and I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna bring this bracelet from Shein. Um, because this is a good alternative to wearing those bangles, because those bangles make a lot of noise. So I think this is gonna be everything that I will bring as far as accessories. And then that way, you know, I can have some options. It's not too much. It's not too much. But okay, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in to this very, like, <laughs> chaotic, casual, informal, pack with me um, video. I know I'm not actually showing you me putting anything in the suitcase. But when I tell you I'm hanging on by a thread to film this video. So I am getting ready to cut this camera off. I'm gonna put the stuff in my suitcase. I am gonna take me some medicine so that I can be a normal human being, okay? Um, and then the next video will be us in Tennessee at the conference. And I do plan to show y'all like how the outfits came out with the accessories and everything. Um, so stay tuned. Thank you so much for helping me pick out looks. Make sure you check the description box and the tag product to this video to shop anything that's still available that I am packing. Also, if you are still interested in going to Cancun with me, slots are still open. So, so I will have that link pinned to the comments of this video, sis. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. I know I haven't been talking about it that much, but we gonna run the promotion back up. Just let me get through May and we gonna run the promotion for that trip back up, okay? So, I will see y'all in Tennessee. Love you. Bye.